Hi and welcome to Outwell. Here I'm going to talk you through the features of the tents from our Air TC collection. The tent that I'm using here is the Flagstaff 6 ATC, uh, but what I talk about here will also go for the rest of the tents within the collection. So uh, all of these tents have actually got uh, uh, hybrid frames where they are part air and part, uh, part steel. Um, so actually in the name you'll see air and the TC stands for technical cotton. Uh, because the fly sheet that we use within this collection is our Outex AirTech, which is a poly cotton material. The split is a 65% cotton and 35% polyester. So uh, this in itself has a fair few advantages. Uh, the first I would say would be that it's a very long lasting material. Uh, you would expect to have these tents for a good long time and that's down to the fact that they don't degrade quite as quickly as, for example, polyester tents um, under UV light or sunlight. Um, so you would expect these uh, tents to last a good long time. Uh, another great feature of poly cotton is the fact that it's, uh, it's breathable. So if you're away on uh, warmer climates or if it's quite hot and sunny, then you'll actually be kept a lot more comfortable and cool within uh, a poly cotton tent. Um, but actually the great thing about this material is that it will react to the temperature that it's in, whereby if it actually gets a little bit colder, it'll keep you nice and warm as well. Uh, in terms of waterproofing, uh, what you'll find with these is that we actually don't have any hydrostatic head for these tents and that's down to the fact that this material is actually naturally waterproof. So uh, there is a coating on the outside of it just to allow the water to bead off uh, if it's just very light, but once the uh, tent gets wet and dry a few different times it actually seals itself. Uh, the way the uh, seams are constructed is in a manner that, like I say, they'll actually seal themselves when they get wet and dry. So they are completely waterproof but just with no hydrostatic head. So uh, the next thing uh, I'll talk about is the frames. And as I said there, these tents have a combination uh, of both air and steel. Um, so what that means is the tents are really easy to put up using uh, the uh, inflatable sections first. Um, you see here we have our power air tube system. So you just individually uh, blow up each uh, tube using a pump which comes with it. And uh, then once that is standing, we can then insert the steel poles. Uh, the majority of the tents, the steel poles are at the front, so that keeps these really nice and solid, stable uh, front uh, entrances and the ease of uh, inflatable tubes behind there. Uh, in terms of uh, stability, these tents are really, really strong, and that is down to the fact that it is a hybrid of air and steel. They've actually all been tested to withstand a Force 10 on the Beaufort scale. So uh, I guess when it comes to uh, bad weather, uh, which we all experience when camping, uh, you're guaranteed to be kept dry in these tents and you're also guaranteed that they're going to stand up to really high strong winds with them being tested to a force tent. So just going back to the pump uh, that comes with the tent, it's a double action hand pump so it's quite quick and easy to be able to inflate all of the different tubes. Uh, there is also a pressure gauge on the top of it as well so you can keep an eye on the pressure when you're inflating them. Uh, really simply, each tube has its own uh, inflation valve so you can just plug the pump in there, it's quite easy to see it says air in. Uh, and then when it comes to taking the tent down, uh, each tube also has its own release valve. So again, super quick and easy to take the tent down and pack it away. So as I mentioned there, these tents are super stable. Uh, a lot of that is down to the fact that, again, we're using the power air tube system. So this is where we have a bracer tube at the back of the tent. And then the tents also have these steel poles at the front, as I mentioned. So this is then where we use our wind stabilizer system. You can see here we have the tabs that wrap around the poles. Um, so once we, uh, once we do that, take the guy lines out and peg them into position, actually pull the fly sheet against the, uh, the framed section of the tent, making it that a uh, little bit more stable and strong. And uh, yeah, as I say, very, very stable in high wind conditions. So throughout the entire tent collection, you'll find we're using our aeroeffective ventilation on here. So this is where we have the streamlined vents down the sides and also across the back of the tent. Uh, these not only look good, but they also are very functional. Underneath here, we have a mesh strip, which allows cool, fresh air into the tent, uh, really making it uh, even more breathable inside there and uh, keeping it a little bit more comfortable. If it gets a little bit too chilly, we can easily get rid of these just by removing the tabs underneath here and we can press these down all the way around the outside. Uh, in terms of the guy lines that we're using on here, we have our floating guy line system. So you can see at the top here, uh, the top piece of guy line is color coded to match the colors of the tent. And at the bottom, we have our classic luminous uh, outwell guy lines there. So hopefully they should be a little bit easier for you to see when it gets dark. 
Um, they all come pre-attached, they're already on here, so it's a job you don't need to worry about doing. Um, and you will find that each also have their own retainers as well. So when you pack the tents down, you can easily wrap them away and pop them in here so the next time you come to use the tent, the guy lines are easily accessible and not in a tangled mess. Uh, all of the tents feature our large windows uh, throughout the living areas and you'll see here that the windows are tinted so they serve two key functions one of which is to reduce the glare from the sun inside and secondly obviously they're going to give you really good privacy as well while still allowing you to have great views uh, out from the inside. At the front of all of the tents within the collection, you'll find that we're using D doors on the front. They're called that simply because they are shaped like a D, um, but what that allows us to do is actually roll the doors to the side, um, as opposed to rolling the doors to the top and perhaps uh, reducing the head height when coming in and out of the tent. Uh, we also have full mesh doors uh, behind the waterproof doors, so you can just see behind us here, we have the mesh door which is also currently rolled away. Um, also to the side, but what we can do is zip these over completely um, to allow for great ventilation within the tents again, but hopefully keeping out unwanted bugs and mosquitoes and things like that. Uh, as part of the easy access system into the tent, we use a flat front here, so you're not having to sort of step over anything to get in and out of the tent. The, the ground sheet is completely flat. Uh, however, when you close the doors over, this actually folds up and zips onto the door, giving you a complete seal at the front. So as I mentioned earlier on, all the tents in the collection have got these really large tinted windows, uh, which give great privacy. If you want more privacy, you will find that each window in the collection has its own curtain, which uh, we actually just have rolled away at the moment. Um, but they are zippable curtains, so they have zips down the side, and that's going to allow you to choose just exactly how much light you're letting into the tent, or of course how much privacy you're getting. But uh, obviously these can be brought completely up to close off all the windows for complete privacy. Uh, next, uh, the ground sheets in all of the living areas are all fully sealed ground sheets. Uh, they're bathtub in style as well, so they come up around the edges. Um, so that's going to stop sort of drafts coming in through the, uh, through the living area. Uh, hopefully it'll keep out things like dirt and dust and sand and hopefully again those unwanted bugs uh, as well. It is of course completely waterproof and it has a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimetres. Uh, all of the tents also feature uh, side entrances. Uh, and on those entrances you'll also find that we have full mesh doors which can be zipped down just like the front one that I mentioned before which is going to really allow for great sort of through flow ventilation within here keeping you nice and cool and comfortable and that added with the breathability factor of the fly sheet makes for a really comfortable experience within this range of tents. A new feature for the Air TC collection for 2017 is the introduction of our Ambassador Master Bedrooms. So these are packed full of features and I think actually the most important one for me anyway is the overall size of the bedrooms. They're actually much bigger than the industry standard uh, which is 2.15 metres deep. These are actually 2.5 metres deep. So uh, what you should see here is actually uh, a good amount of space within these bedrooms. Uh, this is quite a large air bed. If I pop that up to the back here, uh, you'll see that you still have enough space at the front of it to be able to stand up uh, to get dressed or perhaps even have some uh, you know, bedroom furniture, a little bedside table or something like that. Um, in terms of other features in here, we're using our night sky ceilings, so you should see that we have the darker material across the top, hopefully to encourage uh, a longer sleep in the mornings. Uh, we also have handy storage pockets on the inside and on the outside as well. And uh, all the bedrooms also feature our universal inner system, where you can sort of choose exactly what setup you want by either removing um, dividing sheets that are in the middle or even zipping down one half of the bedrooms or no matter what setup you're after there will be lots of options for you. Uh, we also have a great amount of ventilation across the back as well which corresponds to outside ventilation panels on the fly sheet and there is also a gear rope in place for smaller bits and pieces perhaps hanging a head torch or any lighting and things like that as well. Another feature on the bedrooms is the fact that we have cable entry points uh, which allows you to run electrics into the bedroom. So perhaps if you have electric lighting uh, like this or even if you want to run electrics in there to be able to charge your phone or your tablets at night then that is there so you don't have to have the doors open. Uh, you can just run the cables in through those entry points. So for you to be able to create your ideal home away from home we have a range of optional extras available for the tents within this collection. 
Uh, we have fleece carpets available for the living areas, uh, just giving you a little bit more comfort underfoot. We also have footprints available to go under the ground sheet, keeping them clean and dry on those wet and dirty pitches. And we also have inlays, which is a new product, which is the insulated carpets designed to go into the bedrooms, really giving you that home away from home feel. Uh, and we also have awnings available for some of the tents in the collection as well, for those who might want a little bit extra living or storage space. Uh, so you can be sure to check out all the uh, models themselves individually on our website at outwell.com. Uh, and of course, we have our pitching videos as well to give you a helping hand and some hints and tips on how to pitch the tents. So there you have it then. That's all the features of the Air TC collection for 2017. Thank you very much for watching.